What did you buy with your first ever paycheck? Story one. After getting my post-college salary job, I spent my first paycheck taking my whole family to dinner at a nice restaurant. They all ordered prime rib and lobster. I had to pay on my credit card since the bill was higher than my paycheck. Story two. Technically, I paid off some of my student loan, but my real purchase was a brand new Fender Stratocaster 70s Ventera. Best purchase of my life. Story three. Saved up my first two or paychecks and bought my first mobile phone. Can't quite remember how much it cost or how much I made. Was 13 at the time. Couldn't afford any of the fancy ones. Everyone else has a Nokia 3210 or whatever Ericsson was popular at the time. But I ended up buying a Sagem brand that Noon had ever heard of Loli. Story 4, 1990. Had just moved from Ireland to London for my first real job after college. My first paycheck seemed like so much money. I felt rich. Bought myself a beautiful leather jacket in the Trocadero Center in Piccadilly Circus. I loved that jacket. Had it for years until I lost it while moving from New York to Texas. Was so devastated. Story 5 wasn't my first paycheck as it took the first bunch of paychecks to cover it, working 12, 16 hours per week at $5.25 lash HR in high school. But after about 10 weeks of working, I blew the whole thing on a PS1, an extra controller, Area 51 plus a light gun. Total was right around $500 and I felt sick after spending it. Story 6. A Sony PSP. Had my eye on it for months, so I got a job between sophomore and junior year of high school. At the time, minimum wage was $6, 25 latch HR, but I found a job that paid $8, 25 HR to start, worked two full 40-hour weeks, and I got a check that was enough to cover the purchase. Loved that thing. Story 7. Took my young brother to our local amusement park. I remember saying to him, I've got $20, let's go. I'll never forget that feeling. It felt like a million bucks. He is estranged from me now, but in my heart I know he must think of those soft summer days we spent together. Story 8. In the late 1980 ES, I was 16. First summer job, first paycheck. I bought a camera and a fedora-style outdoor hat. The rest went into my savings. The camera served me well for five, six years, and I still have the hat. It's beaten up but still functional, and it still fits unlike any other clothes from that time. Story 9, I went straight to snacks. I recall my first job at a very young age was driving a pedal ice cream cart. Not Dickie D, but a local competitor that was yellow and has a high up sign. It was a sail in high winds. Not terribly fun when windy. Uh, anyways, it was nearly 100 F out, and I have a problem with frozen treats to this day. They had orange creamsicles FFs. I couldn't resist having more than one, even though I'd be paying for them. My employer was perfectly okay with it since it was being paid for either way. It was actually fantastic driving it through my own neighborhood. Lots of people knew me and everyone bought. I'd be stuck in place for five, ten minutes. A community, private village, if you will, of townhouses and young families. Story 10. An old-style label maker that punches the letters into the plastic. I got it just for fun and labeled everything. Even things like the light switch in my room, the door handle on the door, dashboard in my friend's car, etc. It was fun to have money to just blow. Oh, to be 16 again. Story 11. My story is boring and paid my rent, but two of my other friends who started their jobs at the same time had much better stories. Friend one went to the bank, cashed his check, had the teller count it out and put it in his hand and told the teller that he had never held that much money in his life. He then opened a checking account and deposited it. Friend two went and bought new skis, boots and poles and then had to borrow money from me and friend one to have enough to pay his rent and make it through the first month. Story 12. I honestly don't remember. I was abroad and trying to start my life with my now wife. She was still learning English back then. I do remember what she did with hers. She bought me an Xbox One. We now came back to our country and finished uni. I still keep that console. Story 13. Fresh out of college in 2005, I swore that when I got my first job in my chosen field, I would blow my first paycheck on the Ultimate Matrix Collection, the huge 10 DVD box set of the Matrix Trilogy, the Animatrix, and more bonus features than you can shake a stick at. It took me a year to find a job in my chosen field, but I held myself to that. Story 14. Not so much my first ever paycheck because I didn't have a driver license yet, but when I got mine, the first thing I did was drive to a music shop and buy a guitar with the money I'd saved from those paychecks. Story 15. Gas, probably. First job I had in high school was a golf caddy, so no official paychecks there but I was generally responsible for filling up my car, and my mom paid for the insurance. First paycheck job was as a range picker at a local golf course. Ten-ish hours a week at $5 or whatever minimum wage was, minus taxes, didn't give me much apart from gas money. Story 16. I bought a bunch of finishing lures. I was a lifeguard at like 15 or 16. 
and got paid a lot more than all of my friends at the time because minimum wage in Florida at the time was like $7. Maybe I don't really remember. And $15 the hour was God tear money for me. So I needed to flex on all my fishing buddies. Story 17, I didn't. I got pickpocketed at the carnival. My first ever job was a, a cash in hand fruit picking job. It was fucking backbreaking, but it was money. First envelope I get, I take my girlfriend at the time to the traveling carnival that was in town for a few weeks. Walking around, go to pay for something and boom, no wallet. All my cards, cash, and rubber Johnny I was planning to use that night, gone. About three years later, the police phone me up and say my driving license has been found on some carnival worker about 300 miles away from my town. And would I like it back? I politely talk them to cut it up. I have a new one now. Alas, he didn't have my wallet or my cash. Story 18. Nothing. I lived in a small hodunk town, so there wasn't really anywhere to buy cool stuff. A year later, the teller at the bank suggested I park the money in a mutual fund if I didn't need it anytime soon, and I couldn't figure out how to take the money out and never stop the auto withdrawals. So there it stayed until I was in my early 20s and closed out the account. With subsequent paychecks, books, and ice caps, I was huge into YA fiction as a high schooler. Story 19 phone cards to call my girlfriend long distance. It was my second semester of college and I finally got a job on campus that paid decent. She broke up with me not long after that though because of the distance. That was almost 25 years ago. These days, phone cards aren't much of a thing anymore unless you're incarcerated. Story 20. Bought a TV from Sears. It was a clearance model since they used it in the break room, but the guys at the loading dock gave me a new one since they were too lazy to pack up the used one. I saw the look on the manager's face just as I was pulling around the corner and it was priceless. Story 21. My first paycheck was when I was 16 years old for Max D's, so probably Maxi D's. But my first career job paycheck went to a bottle of 18-year-old Macallan scotch that I take have once every yar on the anniversary of buying it. I have one last year before it's done. Story 22. Not paycheck, but royally check. In today's money, about $1.80K and quarterly, but taxed at 50%. Five of us walked into a motorcycle dealership and all walked out with brand new bikes, leathers, gloves, and helmets. Mine was a CBR 600 F3, paid in cash, probably their best month ever. Story 23. I was 16, now 39. I bought Max Payne for PS2, 24 pack of Mountain Dew and snacks, because I was locked in for the weekend. I had it off, I remember, but I beat the game by Saturday morning, so I went out with friends to see a movie later that night after sleeping. I remember my dad telling me, if you want Nintendo crap, get a job, you're old enough to. Of course, he got mad when I did start to work and would spend my money on PlayStation crap. So he started with his, the electricity isn't free in my house crap. Before edit, Max Payne is a classic along with part three, but looking back, I should have rented it because I beat it so fast. Ironically, later that year, GTA 3 was released. I remember renting that and racking up late fees till I bought it. Story 24, literally nothing. I was working so young it went into an account that was open before I was born, and I didn't see inside of it till I turned 18. Even when I got paid cash or a gift of money, I only got to keep 50% if I was lucky. Normally, it was closer to 25%. When I got access at 18, I had $50,000. Story 25. A 1994 Geo Metro paid $300 for it, bought a used $50 battery, tossed $7 into new spark plugs and spent a couple hours detailing it, drove it for the rest of high school. It looked like a bag of smashed ass, third gear was sticky, and the radio didn't work, but it got me back and forth to school and work for two years. Story 26 cashed it. For weeks, I just literally cashed them and watched my money pile up. I felt like such a baller with over dollar $300, 400 of my own money. I lived at home, so no expenses. I'm sure I spent it on clothes, but I don't have a clear memory of spending my first paycheck. Story 27. With my first paycheck, I remember buying a pair of shoes I'd had my eye on for a while. It wasn't anything crazy expensive, but at the time, it felt like a big deal because it was something I got for myself with my own money. There's something special about that first purchase. It's like a little reward for all the work you put in. Story 28. Not right away first, but my first savings I could put to something I want instead of need became my current computer. Researched, bought all parts, and built myself. And it's been going great for four years now, and I'm expecting a few more. In terms of how I spend my free time, it must have hit below $1 slash HR by now. Story 29. I don't recall my first paycheck. That was 40 years ago. But I recall a paycheck about 10 years ago. I was self-employed for almost 20 years and sold my business. I took a job at a hardware store to kill time. With my fifth paycheck, I bought PS4. I was 42 years old and got my first console. Story 30. I don't remember what I bought with my first paycheck other than probably bills and groceries. 
but I do remember my first I'm an adult purchase. When my husband and I were dating, we decided to buy a queen-size mattress together, and we did a payment plan on it. It was the first time we both felt like grown-ups, and also one of the first major commitments we made together as a couple. Story 31, A Ticket to the Rolling Stones. Money well spent since it made me want to pursue music, and after I decided to apply to a music program post-secondary, I now have a Bachelor of Music degree and am a public school music teacher. I've also seen the Stones 11x more since then, traveling around the world to do so. Story 32. Half went to paying the bills for the house. A quarter went to savings. A quarter went to self-spending. Snacks we couldn't afford otherwise, maybe a cheap used game. This was when I was 16. There was a good year or so I worked 40-plus hours while going to high school during the crash of 08 to keep me and my mother afloat. Took her a year to find a place that didn't say she was overqualified and hired her, and it was not due to laziness. After she had a few months under her belt, she had me try and reduce my hours, as originally I was only supposed to get 10 hours a week max. They wouldn't reduce my hours. She called and demanded they drop my hours and gave her attitude, even going as far to say, who do you think you are to tell us what we can and can't do with our employee, his mother? The backpedaling was immediate after the silence they needed to absorb just how much they fucked up. Got injured on the job a few months later, they gave me the runaround and treated me like crap and I stopped showing up. Story 33. It was a really nice hybrid Schwinn bike that I'd bought as a means of riding to from work instead of my car. And to have a nice bike. Two or three months went by and my mom forced me to give it to my older brother who moved away, who doesn't drive. She said I could keep the car I gave you or give your brother the bike. He broke it within a year. It's been 12 years and he still has the bike, still hasn't repaired it. I'm still a bit salty, but I've mostly let it go. Story 34. I didn't buy anything. I started working as a lifeguard when I was 15 and made it my mission to save every penny I got from that job. So hopefully by the end of the season, I could buy a car. After I got my last paycheck, I had saved up $3,800 and bought my first car for $3,000. My mom actually told me my grandparents were going to match what I had so I could get something better, but my uncle ended up selling me a car. It was a little two-door Pontiac, black with over 100,000 miles and a few dinks, but she got me to school and back, and that was enough for me. The $800 I had left over, I didn't really touch, other than $2 purchases to read comics on my phone, lol. I also dog sat for one of my mom's wealthy friends and would put the money I got paid for that in a small box on a shelf amongst a whole lot of junk and would forget about it. Got my first BF right before I turned 17. His family was extremely poor, so I would get him and his little brother food after school every day. I had $1,000 saved up in cash that was spent on food in two months. Story 35. An entire box of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, the cashier reached for the open box near the till, but I stopped him and said, an unopened one, please, and he had to go get a ladder to reach the ones up behind him. To this day, I'm trying to recapture that feeling of being a boss. Story 36. Okay, hear me out. If you look at money coming in your paycheck as money going on top of what you already have, I've never spent my first paycheck LOL. My first paycheck gave me a net worth of $200. My net worth now is $120K. I've never dipped below $200 since that day. Story 37. I was a seasonal employee at Best Buy in 2004 during my senior year of high school. My first paycheck came to like 55 bucks. I went to a lock-in at the local L. Ann Center for the Halo 2 release. Everyone was playing Halo 2 all night except for me. I stayed up until dawn playing The Sims 2. During the lock-in, there was a little Caesars next door, so I got two got and ready pizzas for five bucks each. After the lock-in, I walked over to the movie theater with a friend, and we saw Team America in an empty theater. The lock-in was 20, the pizzas were 10, and the movie came to around 10, but I also got a drink and popcorn. Story 38. My first job out of university was just a crappy agency job at a warehouse. I had already pre-ordered GTA 5, and weirdly it was released within a week of my first paycheck coming in. I had worked part-time jobs whilst in education, but... Those paychecks were small cash in hand kind of jobs that just helped pay for food and travel. Story 39. Lowell. I was flat broke and wanted to buy a Red Bull for my GF at the time and I, 19M, I had just started my first real job and had been scraping by waiting for that first paycheck. I opened my bank app to make sure I had enough to buy two Red Bulls instead of one and when I saw a comma for the first time in my bank account, I froze. I put the Red Bulls back and just walked out of the store called my GF and told her to meet me at this local restaurant, and I took us out to dinner for the first time without worrying about making up for it later. Story 40. I worked all summer at a local mom-and-pop restaurant when I was 13. 
I got paid $100 at the end of the summer and immediately bought a 30-year-old Mossberg Bolt Action 20 gauge from my neighbor. It was his grandpa's and was in pristine shape. That was 28 years ago, and it was always my go-to gun when I still hunted. It is really fun for skeet shooting, but I don't want to hunt anymore. My son currently has it since he shoots in a local gun club. They all loved it. Story 41. Just got my first ever paycheck two days ago. Sent it straight to my parents as a thanks for what they've always done. Them sent it back saying they appreciated the thought but didn't need so. I'm about to have two stick of ram and a nice coat next week. Story 42. A brand new pair of low-cost original Nike running shoes for myself, my brother, and my dad. My dad used to buy me and my brother high-class fake ones so we can keep up with the kids at our school. So when I bought us original ones for the first time, it felt like such a full-circle moment. Story 43. Nothing really. When I was working at 15 sixteenths, I was saving up for a car. I'd spend a bit for food and going out with friends, then save the rest for two summers and put a down payment on a car at the end of summer when I was 16. I came from a single mother family with one other brother. There was no way I was getting a car unless I saved up myself. Story 44. I was 14 years old, making $5.15 an hour at McDonald's. My first check was 80-something dollars. My dad took $60 for my contribution to the house and left me with $22 or something to effect. I said, so you're charging me rent? He goes, if it were rent, it'd be more. Let's just call it house money. You're working now, son. This is what life is about. I quit the job immediately and every job he forced me to get after that just so he could take 75% of my check every week. Left for college at 18 and haven't seen or spoken to him since and have no plans on doing so. Story 45. A Jet Ski. I worked 105 hours in one week at SBC before they were bought out by AT&T. It was the week after I graduated high school. After a month of owning the jet ski, it, it flipped in the lake while my friend was riding it and the motor was ruined. Sold it for a fraction of the cost I bought it for. Story 46, a number one Big Mac meal. Seriously, MCDs was my first job at 16. My parents never had money to give me cash to eat out. So my very first paycheck, I went on break and brought my own Big Mac meal. Then as I ate that burger, I started to do the math and realized it took me 45 minutes of working or so to earn enough to buy that number one. It was a very valuable lesson, and I am glad I learned it at 16. From that moment forward, I always considered how long I had to work for that item I just brought, and if it was really worth it. Story 47. I was in seventh grade and worked as a caddy. While not my very first paycheck, I got the job and saved and bought an Intellivision game system, like an Atari home game system, but not Atari. My parents were not pleased, but they were the ones who told me if I wanted one of those I had to pay for it myself, they would not get me one. So I did. Then I quit since I achieved what I wanted. 